Hi guys, so it's been seven years since we had a reality show and I've been posting things on Instagram, homeschooling, all the kind of trials and tribulations of the lockdown life. And we've had so many requests to bring the reality show back. And then the idea was that we would give you a little mini series online. And of course, that they would give us the cameras and let us sort of wreak havoc. And we thought, well, this could be interesting and fun. So we've had a great time so far. We really hope that you like what you see. Uh, just a little snippet into our lives, so enjoy it. Here it is, Life with the Andres. So I've got some greys just on my beard and I'm thinking, do you know what, I quite like it. You know, a lot has changed in my life, obviously. I've got two more children. You all would have met Emily when we first started dating. Um, and now we've been married almost five years. I'm more grateful than ever for all the things that I've got. It's not bad. It's quite good, actually. You've got a few little silvers in there. As I've had more children, as I've settled down uh, with Emily, I just think as it goes on, I'm just more and more settled. Whoa, whoa, what? that's out of bounds. We sort of, we just haven't really got bored of each other. We, we're just kind of like happy, just carrying on being with each other. Like we, we kind of still feel the same as we did right at the beginning. Of course, I'm proud of her that she's out there helping. She's on the front line and her along with 1.5 million people employed by the NHS are doing unbelievable work. See on the top, this is the my... top needs work because you just attacked it the other day with scissors. This is my full mysterious curl look. <laughs> Jay, how can you wear tracksuit, man, in the middle of this heat? You know, Junior is like a typical teenager. He's turning to 15. He's got the gold chain and he t sort of talks like this. Do you know what I'm seeing, lad? Yeah, but I'm a G. I said, yeah, you're a G for Greek, not G for gangster. You, what is with the sound effect? <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys. Get over it. The family's grown and you start to realise what's important. We love each other. I love you so much, Dad. son. <laughs> Fist. Fist, I love you. Oh! No, don't. Look, look what's on your fingers. You're don't even about do jumper. that, man. And the relationship between the two of them, Jeannie and Prince, is even if they haven't at times been living in just one home, they have always been together wherever they've gone. So their relationship is brilliant. What is this? It's all day, all day. Yeah, but the weird TikTok thing about it is I get the TikTok thing, but there's no music playing. Bista's also fantastic. She's a great girl. She listens to us, but she has this obsession with TikTok like I've never seen. I mean, she walks around, she walks in the room, she goes, hey dad, how are you? So Millie's six years old, um, Amelia she was born, but Millie is her nickname. And then Theo is three. Anyone that's known us has known that Emily does not want Millie and Theo's faces in the media. Theo, you can't keep weighing on the same spot. Their faces won't be in it, but of course you'll, you'll get to know their personalities. We've got to work on that patch, dude. Like, I know you want to mark your territory, but that's just taking it one step too far. Homeschooling, um, has been better. I've had days where I've smashed it going, Pfft. I know what phonics, mate, I can do phonics. And then there were other days where I'm like, how can I not even do phonics? So which one is greater? Would you say eight plus seven is more than seven plus six? The other one. Yeah, that's what I thought. So is that maths done? That's it? No, you have to go on the link. Oh. Oh my Lord. Oh my gosh, don't tell me I've been doing it wrong for four weeks. Yeah, you have. What? You have to go on this link. Um, that's year one learning down the bottom of the... There's been a couple of bits that have been a little bit <laughs> difficult. I'm not even gonna lie, she's six. I have struggled. Come on. 
You can't tell me I've done all of it wrong because I've written so many things down. So look through her book, please, because I'll be devastated. I, I will be. I think probably you haven't done it all wrong. Pete, in a weird way, other than all the terrible things that had been going on, obviously, he was quite excited at the beginning about being at home with the kids and not having to rush off to work all the time. They put one of the questions on there, then you meant to follow the link to the website and do the whole workbook. Oh, no. Why would you do that? You, oh, how are they going to know if you've done that or not? What do you mean, how are they? What do you mean, how are the teachers going to know? Yeah. If, if it's not about trying to catch the teachers out. And I said to him, you know, do it for a week and you'll be sick of it. But actually, he's stuck to it and he's done so well. We've done I math. love how you're like, she went and oh got... yeah, but the teacher will never know. What are you, 12? She, she... I, I still couldn't figure out half the homework problems. But I have done some good work with her. What is a prime number? Prime number is anything that can't be divided by itself. So for example, no, one is a prime number. Everything can be divided by itself. Wanna sit with us? Joe, what's your favourite brand? Well, I'm wearing all North Face right yeah, now. Yeah, that's what she asked, right? It was, a, it was a rhetorical question. Yeah, that's why I was trying to answer a rhetoric. Does that make no, sense? rhetorical means. No, I know what a rhetorical question is. Tell me, what is it? Um, of course I know what a rhetorical question is. Hey, you don't even know what five times four is? I do. What? 20. Took you time. With the schoolwork, I've, I've done really well, but I have struggled a bit. I'm not going to lie, yeah, I'm not a teacher. Work. No, yeah. some of the year one work I found a little bit tricky, but some of it I found easy. I'm trying to change the subject. Mm. You're just not smart, but it, you just got to accept that. One is a prime number, 11 is a prime number. Yep, so why is eight not a prime number? Because it's even. Huh. That's not true. That's not the only reason. Yeah, plus. Why is 21 not a prime number? 21? That stumped him, isn't it? <laughs> so let's go back to rhetorical question, right? I know what. Oh, Go on, explain it. Explain. Uh, no, a rhetorical be... question is a question that you're not asking like formally. What in a suit and tie? <laughs> no. Say a rhetorical question to me. Okay. If I was asking you a question, I'd be like, "Is it Tuesday today?" And if I wasn't, if it was a rhetorical question, it'd be like, "It's Tuesday today, isn't it?" Mm. Like, you know what I mean? Going, no, no. No, no one knows. You know what I'm. Okay, let me ask you. What's a the prime number? Prime number, right? Yeah, right. We're not on that subject. No, yet. you don't know. <laughs> I do know what I'm talking about. I can't tell you. Yeah, Jay, I the difference is does. between you and Dad right now is that me and Bista have told Dad about 25 times what is a prime I, number. We didn't learn this in Australia. I will back yes, you did. They have prime numbers in Australia. Mate, they don't. Dad, They've got. You they... actually being are you, are you like literally there? No. Do you want to go in the cool tub? No, don't try and change the subject. Do you no, want to? No, no, we're sorting this out. Okay, Thea, yeah, yeah. I'll come and help you. Yeah, yeah but I've told him so many times. They're just trying to catch me out, but. No. I don't know what a prime number is. So I'm going to get like a small cup of water. I'm just going to go up behind him and throw it on his head. But I've got like this much. It's like a full cup, basically. I'm just going to act like I didn't do anything. Suspicious, aren't I? You right? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> this water is so nice. Because <laughs> I remember Bisty used to say to me, you're so strict, you're so strict, it's unbearable. And now I'm, I'm like finding myself, they just walk all over me, these kids. I mean, I do try but they know the, the line, they know the line. This is Prank Wars and this is one point to Team P. Team P, Team PA, Team Prip. Ah! <laughs> oh yeah, game on, girl! You know what, you game know on, what? Girl. Okay, <laughs> right, you got me good, you got me good. <laughs> So we're going to go to Junior's head now and this is going to be so fun, like literally going to be so fun. That is a number two, that one. Yeah, yeah let's go number two. Can I do it, please? No. Please. No, because you will literally mess it up in a big way. Right, now, Let me start and then you can Please. Oh, Ems, go hard. No, I'm not going hard. That's what you do and that's why your hair looks terrible. Come on, it doesn't look that bad. Ems, go hard. No, no you've got to take it gentle. <laughs> Oh my days. How about I get the thing and pull it in, you, in your hair? So I've kind of done you a little fade, sort of, but not quite. So this is what junior hair, Junior's hair looks like now. So this is Junior's hair now and result looks actually so good. Like, I'm not even going to lie. 
you want to go in, Theo? Oh, it's lovely. What are you talking about? Woo! I said yeah! I said yeah! The only thing is, Theo, I've got conditioner in and it's going to go all over the hot tub. There's all these things that people are saying about the earth healing and, you know, you kind of went for walks and you do things and you notice how quiet it was. I've been doing bike riding with the family, which I've never done before. It's really good times, not necessarily with what's happening in the world by being in this situation, but certainly as bonding of a family, it's been incredible. So all these things that we've done that we, I would have never done before because I was too busy and there was always, I was always away and things like that. Spending the quality time with all the children in one house, that's been incredible. Kind of reverse the roles. I, uh, I become a stay-at-home dad for this period of time. When Ems is not here, I am, I hold the fort because Ems will leave here about seven or something in the morning, 7.15. She's not back till seven at night. And then she has to sort of disinfect herself for 20 minutes, half an hour. I come in through the back door, like where our laundry is, um, and I literally strip all my clothes off in the laundry, put them straight in the washing machine on like high wash with antibacterial stuff in there. And then um, I come from the laundry, like out, go upstairs straight to shower without hugging the kids or anything. But they're normally like having dinner or in the kitchen. So they just laugh at me like running about 99% naked through the kitchen, like up the stairs. And they just find it hilarious. I worry, she's my wife. She's exposed to the virus. I think Pete worries about me more than I worry about me. I probably worry about him more. I work in a great hospital. We're really well supported. My kind of seniors, the, the doctors are always there if we need them, if we're worried about anything. Um, so I personally haven't had any sort of real fears about going into work. We're just sad for the people that are suffering during this crisis. But for those who aren't, um, you know, I've always said to people that this is time you'll never get back. Never. We'll never get this time back. All the kids will remember, they will remember the summer of 2020. They'll remember it forever. Yeah, I did. I trained so hard. Oh, I did. And because, do you know why? I did it. Why? Why, ha why have we trained extra early today? Why? Because we are going to all the McDonald's! That we've waited. I know, I know. But we're actually all excited because Maggas have opened their drive through and for me so it's an excuse so to excited. get out of the house. I'm just so excited for McDonald's. So am I. Go what are you going to get? Everything. Okay. I've been making that cheese, that cheddar, not better, that better, that scooter, no lesser, top mover. In a set, I'm making say cheese, that cheddar, not better. We have been in the queue now for about 10 minutes and it looks, I mean there's 0.3 of a mile to go. So all that buzz and excitement, I'm kind of feeling a little bit... We'll probably eat at 9. Yeah, that's not exciting. So the rest of the roads are empty, but this one line going to McDonald's. We've been in, what, 40 minutes now? We turn the music off, we're a bit bored now. So we've been in the car for about an hour now. Oh. <laughs> I mean, honestly. Yeah, we've, yeah, just. All right, all right, I'm just. Can we just walk? No, Can because it's a drive please? through, not a walk through, you, no, you're not a run down. through, not a fly through. You're not it's funny. A, I didn't, I'm not trying to be funny. I, I am trying my, to be funny. We've been in the queue for an hour and 20 minutes and it closes in 40 minutes. Because now the lights have gone on. Way. This is this is how long we've been waiting now. Oh my gosh, get on with it. We are here, but the drive through is right there. Mate, people don't even queue this much outside Buckingham Palace. What's going on? As you can see, we are the last car, like literally. We are the last car to get in. You've made it. Hello, what can I get you? Well, I just want to say that we're really happy right now. So oh my God, we've got another happy customer. He's like, mate, I really I'm, want to I'm say. I'm buzzing. He's buzzing. I'm buzzing. I'm happy for you, you got through the queue. Oh man. You deserve it. Do you know what? You've made my night now. Oh my God, you're filling up my heart. Don't, <laughs> don't. <laughs> right. Now I'm filming and then we're we gonna Oh my God. I've got to park up somewhere. This is a big moment. I am so 
happy right now. Get yeah, get in a car park. Oh yes, there's a car park. Oh, a car park. oh this is where everyone's eating their McDonald's. <laughs> Oh, Massive yeah, in Tesco so eating our cold. McDonald's. Do you know how rebels we are right now? Right, let's go, let's go. I mean, I've, I know, listen, I know it's the simple things in life, and there's going to be people going, but it's, you know, it's right. Mate, can I just tell you, when you've been inside for eight weeks, this McDonald's is just, it's literally like heaven. I have to say though, <clears throat> in fact, I don't even know what to say. Don't say anything. I can't. Well, don't. I'm 47 years old and I feel great. I really do feel great. But you know, as you get into your late 40s, you start thinking about your skin, you start thinking about eating just that little bit healthier. Well, things have changed. My wife likes to tell me that maybe a bit of a reverse life will do me some good. Uh, after a few weeks of taking this, your skin's better, your nails are better, your hair's better. I need that during lockdown. So uh, I thought I'd give it a go. And actually, it tastes that good. Guess we're going to see the results as it emerges. Tastes good to me.